Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, my name is Shanique and <laughs> I do not have a British accent, but today's random fact is when I was younger, I used to want a British accent so bad. I used to talk in a British accent. I used to practice and I just really wanted a British accent really, really badly. Today's video is going to be a haul. This is basically part two of the first thrift haul that I posted a couple weeks ago. I asked in that video if you guys would want to see more thrift hauls and that I actually had more stuff to show you guys and I asked you guys to thumbs that video up. I think that video got over like 70 likes so I decided to go ahead and film kind of like part two of that haul. So if you didn't see the first part of that haul, I will leave it somewhere on the screen or I will link it down below. Make sure you check that out. Before I actually get into the haul, I just want to give a quick shout out to Firmoon.com. I have spoken about them before in a video. They reached out to me and sent me some glasses to kind of review and talk about and they reached out to me again. They were so kind to let me pick out another pair of glasses, which is the pair that I'm wearing right now. I will leave the style name on the screen and like the color if you like them if you're interested in them I really like them they are kind of like a, I think I got the tortoise yeah the tortoise shell and yeah they kind of remind me of Ray-Bans and if you don't know what Firmu is they are just a glasses company that provides really affordable really stylish glasses whether you need glasses for fashion purposes prescription they also have sunglasses and prescription sunglasses I believe they have men and women uh, glasses glasses can be really really expensive I remember spending like over $200 for a pair of glasses and they weren't even like you know super high-end and yeah I, it's just really really expensive uh, to be able to see. And so if you're on a budget or if you want like multiple pairs of glasses, I definitely highly recommend Firmu.com. They have tons of different styles. They have a photo uploading tool where you can upload a picture of yourself so that you can see what the glasses look like on. And if you're getting prescribed glasses, all you need is your current prescription and you can either upload the prescription or, you know, fill in the details manually. It's super simple. They have, you know, the standard options, but also with different upgrades you can get if you want like, you know, anti-reflective coating on your glasses or if you want a certain color lens all in all the glasses are really affordable I've had a great experience with them so if you guys are interested in getting yourself or a friend or a family member a pair of glasses I will have a link down in the description box where you can get a pair of glasses for four dollars and ninety five cents you just have to pay shipping once again thank you to Firmu for reaching out and sending me another pair of glasses and let's just go ahead and dive into this haul all right so the first item that I'm gonna show you guys is this dress by Jessica Howard and it is this short sleeve dress that has kind of like this ditzy floral, well it's not even floral, yeah it is floral print. This dress is pretty much midi length on me and what I really like is it has this tie uh, wrap detailing that goes across the front which I think makes it look, you know, really unique and gives it that something. Now it does have a pretty high slit which is kind of unexpected for me for a dress like this. I wouldn't expect it to have a high slit. So I think to kind of tone down that little like bit of sexiness that that adds to this dress, I would probably dress this down with like some high top chucks or I don't know. I think it would still be cute with some heels too. All right, the next thing I have to show you guys, I'm really so happy I found because it's really a classic timeless piece that I feel like I will have in my wardrobe forever. And it is a pantsuit. It is by the brand For You One. And it's just a navy blue pinstripe pantsuit. I really love the blazer because it's double breasted. It just looks like this. It has really nice silver buttons. And yeah, I love the blazer. And I love that it's not super structured. It's a little bit more of a relaxed feel it just comes with some high-waisted trousers it's making the light go all crazy but this is what the pants look like and they're not super flared out at the bottom but they're also not like super tapered I have an idea of styling this and I think I'll show you guys in the try on but I kind of like kind of menswear inspired pieces with like sneakers so I think that's how I'm going to style this kind of go for a more casual feel but definitely a timeless piece that I could also dress up this next thing is this little crop top it's just one of those tops that you tie and this just screams vacation to me it has like flamingos on it and palm trees I don't know this is definitely like a vacation crop top this would work really well as like a swimsuit cover-up like for the top part obviously it's a top so it wouldn't be covering the bottom part but I have this dress and it looks pretty sheer but actually when I wear it it's not super sheer I still would wear like dark undergarments or wear a slip with it but it's not as sheer as it looks but I just love these little purple 
accents on it. It's like a magenta fuchsia type color. All right, next I have this dress. It says it's made in India, but it doesn't have a brand on it. But it looks like this. It's like a chocolate brown color. And then it has this kind of beading sequin detailing on the neckline as well. And then it has these little pom-pom ties that you can tie. I guess you could tie them in the front or the back. I would tie them in the front, I think. And then it also has this detailing at the bottom with the little pom-poms. This is just super, um, what's the word to describe this? I don't know. I feel like I would want to go to like a farmer's market wearing this or some sort of world market type place somewhere outdoors. Y'all know I have to like describe clothes when I feel like they take me places and this is where this dress is taking me. I got this dress which I love the print on it. It's like a really nice satiny material and I'm actually showing you guys the back because I'm dumb. This is the front of the blouse. It has a little tie here so you can tie it and it's long sleeved. I really like these buttons on the sleeves. And then it kind of gathers in at the waist a little bit and it's pretty long it's past midi length on me the only thing is i feel like it could be a little bit tighter in the waist and you'll see in the try on so i'm either going to like do the little hack where you can safety pin it without the safety pins being seen or maybe belt it but it's a really really nice lovely feminine ladylike dress and i really like it i just think the fit is a little bit off, but it's an easy fix. Next up, I have a couple of bags to show you guys. The first is this little crochet backpack. I love the fact that it's like a crochet bag, but it's a backpack. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It has little beads on the, uh, what is this, the shoulder strap part on the bottom. But this is perfect for vacation because for me, a backpack is like the most ideal thing, but a lot of backpacks are like ugly. But this is such a cute summery backpack and I think I'll be taking this with me when we go to Hilton Head this weekend because it's just perfect to like throw all your stuff in. And then I found this one. See, this still has a price on it. I paid I paid a dollar 50 for this actually. It's just a little straw bag, but it's really cute because it has like this blue detailing. It just opens up like this, and you can actually tuck the um, strap in and hold it as like a clutch or even like almost like an oversized wallet. I really like that. I really like how versatile that is. And then this bag is amazing. I paid dollar fifty for this as well. But first, let's look at the handle. I love the detailing on the handle. It's just beautiful and then it has like this strawberry print on it but what's amazing about this bag is it's actually because you guys know I just always find reversible things I feel am I the only one that always finds something reversible at the thrift store I feel like that's just always my my thing I find something that's reversible but it's reversible so that's what it looks like on the other side I definitely like this side better but it's nice to have that option all right speaking of reversible things I found this reversible jacket so on one side it's like a beige kind of khaki color and it has these buttons like this it's by the brand Coos of course that's what it's called Coos of course and that's what it looks like on that side and then when you reverse it it's blue and it has kind of like these little yeah pinstripes then it has this paisley detailing where the buttonholes are and then this is what the buttons look like. I absolutely love this side. I mean, I probably still would wear it on the other side, but this is my favorite side for sure. And then I found another reversible jacket. This one is more like a coat, like a lightweight coat. So this is what it looks like on this side. Isn't this marvelous? Oh my gosh, it reminds me of a quilt. It has wooden buttons and yeah it really wow yeah it really reminds me of a quilt and I love that I love wow I love it the pattern on it is just amazing so that's what it looks like on that side and then you can switch it to this side and this side just has like the uniform floral print and I actually I love both sides I think I like the busier side better because I j I'm just extra and this is just an amazing find next up I have this dress by white stag and it's just a black and white gingham print. Gingham has been in for like the past two summers and it's still in and I love it. It has a little tie around the waist and it buttons down. I absolutely love this dress. For me, this is a all-purpose dress because I can wear it with like some low-top vans 
or I can kind of, you know, dress it up. And this is just something that you wear, you know, when you're going to be like outside all day, maybe walking, maybe, you know, going to eat. Yeah, I love it. I also picked up this little sundress and I love it because it just feels so 90s to me. I love the sunflower print and the colors and how it kind of has this kind of stripe like feel to it and I love it because I think this would be really cute with like a white t-shirt underneath so super versatile can wear it as is as a sundress with like a little hat or you know make it a little grungy with a white tee underneath and some some vans or some chucks all right I picked up two pairs of pants and they're pretty similar actually I think my mom ended up giving these to me and I think one of these she got from the Philippines I don't know I might be wrong maybe it was made in the Philippines but this pair of pants is by the brand Erin London and it's actually 100% silk if these don't scream vacation I don't know what does it has like what are these banana leaves I don't know I'm making stuff up at this point but they have elastic and I would wear these high-waisted and they have little sequin detailing at the bottom and they have a little bit of a wide leg not super wide and then the other pair I got looks like this this I would wear regular waisted. Um, what is that called? Regular waisted? I would wear this, you know, on the hips. These ones aren't cropped like the last ones were. These are more, you know, flowy. This is what the print looks like. I don't know, super, you know, super vacation-y. Okay, next is this blazer by the brand Persaman. Persaman, I guess. But it just looks like this. And I love it because it's so on trend with the embroider, embroidery trend, even though I'm like over that trend, but I like this embroidery because it's unique. I feel like all the embroidered stuff that's online looks the same, but this is what it looks like. It has embroidered flowers right here. It's a velvet material. Oh my gosh, I love, I love a velvet blazer. I know that's random, but I love a velvet blazer. That's what it looks like on the other arm. And then it has this beautiful embroidery on the back. Even though it's black and it's velvet, I feel like it still has that spring vibe with the flowers. It just makes it, you know, gives it that little fresh twist and I love it. Going along with that embroidered trend is this top. Now this is kind of like uh, that Asian inspired top where the, uh, the blouse is like, I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Like the collar and the... The buttons, I don't know, I feel so dumb because I don't know what it's called. But the Asian inspired like martial arts wearing training tops, I don't, I don't, has embroidery on the sleeves and down the front and it's making the lighting go super bad but that's what it looks like on the back and it's by the brand Bech Bechamel, Bechamel, I don't know. I'm pretty sure my mom gave me this top, it's by the brand Malco Modes and it's a beautiful royal blue color or cobalt blue i love this this shade of blue and i really love the ruffle detailing i love anything that has ruffles and it has kind of like the elasticated sleeves to give it that bell style and yeah it's a solid color so it'll work really well with prints i would probably pair this with like some sort of printed skirt or maybe some printed pants i don't know I have another vintage dress which I think my mom gave me this as well. My mom ends up giving me a lot of things that she finds or you know things that she gets and doesn't work out for her. It's by the brand Nancy's and this is giving me super like mod vibes. This makes me think of like the 60s. If I had some white go-go boots I would definitely wear some white go-go boots with this but it has a collar it buttons up the front and it kind of has a slight skater style waist where it kind of cinches in and flares out a little bit I really love the print it just makes me think of art super like artsy what would I wear this to the art museum yeah that's what it looks like totally would wear it with some white go-go boots but I don't have any I found this rose gold blouse by the brand Boston proper this is like truly rose gold I don't have anything this color you know clothes wise um, I love how it's got these ruffly sleeves and then this cutout detailing at the neck and the shoulders I live I live for this blouse I love this I can't believe I found when I found this at the thrift store I was like what now I wouldn't be a true Shanique thrift store haul if I didn't include something that I got out of the nightgown section or lingerie section. I picked up this gown. It's by the brand Viva U. Yeah, Viva U. Oh, I love, I love that. Viva U. But yeah, it looks like this. It's a really nice sky blue color and that's what it looks like. And then it's just really long. It has double slits and I plan on wearing this 
like underneath things. I'm planning on using this as a layering piece to have this lace detailing, you know, peek out the bottom. So I think this would be really cute with like a sweater on top, like a lightweight sweater and some boyfriend jeans underneath. So this would be, you know, layered over the the jeans or, you know, with a dress. I don't know. But I'm definitely planning on using this as a layering piece. I wouldn't wear this, you know, just out like this. But let's get into this this lace detailing right here. All right, guys, so that is actually everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely love doing these thrift store hauls. These are definitely my favorite types of videos to do. Please thumbs this video up if you liked it and if you want to see more hauls. Also, like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, just spread the love. Check down below if you want to follow me on any of my social media, but it's all, I say this in every video, it's all at Viva La Spice. Also, don't forget to check down below if you're interested in getting some glasses from Firmu.com. And as always, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!